Welcome, welcome. In this video, we're going to cover how to install Google Tag Manager. Google Tag Manager, or GTM for short, is great for managing and adding tags to your web properties, such as your website or app. You can use it to manage tags for advertising, for marketing, creating custom tracking, and validating data you're collecting using these tags. So for example, you can create tags for Google Analytics or other web analytics software, Google Ads, Google Marketing Platform, A-B testing software, heat maps, and all kinds of tags. We'll cover two scenarios. The first will be to install GTM directly in your HTML code. And the second will be installing GTM into a CMS, specifically WordPress. So the first thing you'll do is go to tagmanager.google.com. And then you'll create a new account. So the account structure is similar to creating an account for Universal Analytics. Your GTM account will be structured in such a way that you have one account with one or more containers. So think of your account as the top level, as your organization as a whole. And within your organization or your account, you'll have one or more containers. So you could have a container for different web properties. You could have a container for your website, or you can have a container for your mobile app or other web properties. We're going to name our account, our GTM account, Digital Learning Sandbox. And we'll scroll down to the container setup. And we'll just call this Digital Sandbox. And we'll continue down and select the target platform to indicate what kind of web property we want to place our container on. Click on Create and go through and accept the Terms of Service Agreement. And once you do that, you're brought to this screen, which will show you the code that you need to paste in your head and body tag. So to install GTM directly into your HTML code, copy the first snippet of code and head over to your HTML. Locate the head tag and paste your code as high up in the head tag as possible. Then copy the code for the body tag. This is the no script code. Find the opening body tag and paste the no script code directly after the opening body tag. The second scenario we'll cover is installing GTM into your WordPress CMS. So copy this snippet of code for the head tag and head over to the admin section of WordPress. So now you can install GTM in your theme files, but the major drawback to that is you'll have to install, reinstall GTM every time your theme updates. Instead, you can install a plugin or a theme, for example, a website builder, that will allow you to install the code in the header or body sections. So my preference, especially if I'm working on my own project, my own website is to use a website builder theme like Divi or Elementor. And you can find links to those in the description. But using a website builder will provide you with the ability to paste the code in the head and body sections. So 
once you install your plugin or your theme, what you want to do is find the area where you can edit or you can add code to the head and body sections. So for Divi specifically, I'm going to click in the settings here, the Divi theme options, and that area that we're looking for is under integration. And you can see here, there are sections where you can add the code to the head of the page or to the body of the page. So we're going to go back to Google Tag Manager, copy the code, the JavaScript here, and then paste it in the head section. And then we're going to grab the no script tag, copy that, and paste it in the body section. Basically, this no script tag functions to enable Google Tag Manager if users have disabled JavaScript. So this is another option to enable the GTM container and any tags that you've configured with GTM. If you are using this to validate ownership for Google Search Console, this won't work. So you have to use another method to confirm ownership for Google Search Console. But for our purposes, this will work just fine. Depending on the builder or the theme, the, the plugin that you use, you have to see whether it actually pastes the code or installs the code, specifically the no script, right after the opening body tag. But for us, that's not necessary. Once you pasted those code snippets in whatever theme, builder, website builder, or whatever plugin that you're using, Make sure you save it. So in this Divi theme builder, I'm going to save changes. And then I'm going to go back to my Google Tag Manager. And when you're back in this overview page, you can either publish an empty container or you can create a tag to publish with it. For example, if you want to include or create a tag for Google Analytics 4, you can view the video, look for it in the description, and create a tag with that guidance there. But I'm just going to go ahead and create an empty container. So I'll just call this empty container. We'll publish this. And then the next thing we'll do is go to the Chrome Web Store and look for Tag Assistant. So in the search bar, type in Tag Assistant. And there's a legacy version of Tag Assistant. There's also Tag Assistant Companion. Now, it looks like Tag Assistant Companion is newer, but I don't know what this two and a half stars is about so I'm just gonna go with the tag assistant legacy and this Chrome extension helps to see how tags are firing how they're working or what tags are firing on the website so this will help you tell whether your GTM installation is is good so you can install that and make sure you enable it so when we go to our site here we're going to make sure that loads and then we'll look for the tag assistant chrome extension enable it and then reload it. And once that reloads, it'll tell us 
what tags are firing. So we can see this green tag here with one tag found. And when we click on it, it tells us it's our GTM container here. And if you look at the container ID, 5BV9J44. Let's go back to our workspace and compare it to the container ID here. And it's the same, so the tag assistant tells us that we've correctly installed our GTM container. So that's how you install the GTM container on your website. Now you can create tags, add marketing tags, add advertising tags, whatever tags you need for your website. So if you found this helpful, please like, subscribe, comment. There will be more videos on measuring and tracking user behavior with web analytics tools. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode.